Once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. Or close the wall up with our English dead. In peace there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the actions of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood. Disguise fair nature with heart favoured rage. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow o'erwhelm it as faithfully as doth a gallied rock, or hang and jetty its confounded base, swilled with a wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostrils wide. Hold hard the breath, and bend up every spirit to its full height. On, on, you noblest English, whose blood is fed from fathers of war-proof, fathers that, like so many Alexanders, have in these parts from morn till even fought, and sheathed their swords for lack of argument. Dishonour not your mothers. Now attest that those whom you called fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood, and teach them how to war. And you, good yeoman, whose limbs were made in England, show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble lustre in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, cry, God for Harry, England, and St. George.